back in Berlin with Matahari. Um, last time we 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 have photographed the notes at the British Embassy for um, Oscar. Now we're working on Lado's um, quest for us, which means meeting von Kalle. And now von Kalle, who wants more more uh, numbers before we get our money. So yeah. One of these new telephones. Well, we do have a big gun tracing, so I guess we can go give that to Lado. Lado. Something like that. But I think we need to go back to Paris anyhow. We need to go back to Marie Curie. Taxi? Where to, Fraulein? Spandau Station, bitte. Here we go. I think we need to go back to Marie Curie. I just realized I need a ticket to go there. There we go. That's a nice little ticket booth manager. Hello there. Where to? Ticket to. Ah, uh, let's try normal Paris. Paris, please. Oh wow, he's already over there. Oh no, it's the same map. Uh, hopefully it's easier getting to Paris than getting to Berlin. Yes, it is. Ha. Yeah, that's how it works. Alright. And now we are in Paris. Um, let's start... No, 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 no. We want to go to the theater because then he might want us to get inspirations. And then we can collect more inspiration. Which is fun. So, Hello there. Gabriel, what about arranging a dance performance? Not unless you can do something new. Don't frown. You need inspiration, Mata. Yep, now we can go find inspiration. I like that our, the star here is like dented. It's nice. Alright, so now we can go look for inspiration here, for example. Oh wait a minute. I wanna look at, is there any any more inspiration here? We got the aeroplane. Okay, we'll take him. That's an intriguing little move. You can only get the inspirations one at a time. When you need inspiration, so to speak. So we could go dance now. Uh let's go dance. It's cool. We want money, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here, I've got a new move. Hello. Ah -ha. my beautiful bird is hatching a new chick. Better yet, a new dance move. Well? She has to go get ready. Am I still the eye of the dawn? Matahari remains the queen of dance. That was hilarious. Then I can stage a performance? Of course. That was kind of hilarious. I forgot about that. Alright. She's standing outside. But that's okay. Now it's getting kind of fast here. Oops. Sorry. Okay, 
Good. I got a minus nine, but they still like it. Good. Ooh. 500, not 2,000. Huh. Tonight, you danced like an angel and made money like the devil. Good news. Something new tonight, and audience was stunned. I don't know why I can never do this, but okay. Yeah. Next morning. I will actually go in and talk to him again, just to... So we can go find inspiration while we are traveling. Because I like to do that and, you know, just have that in case. In cases. In cases. Hello there. Hello. Gabrielle, what about arranging a dance performance? Not unless you can do something. Yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah, blah. La 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 la. La 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 Okay. So let's go to Ladu and get him off our backs. Wait a minute. No, no. Taxi? No. Well to Madame. I wanna check if there's any more inspiration to be gotten Excuse in Paris. Me. We got him, we got in the plane. See if there's anything in the side street. I don't think so. It's always good to check. Henri Fouquet camera. No, that's what I thought. It's basically just a camera here. Good. Okay. Way too street. Alright, now we're taking the taxi. Taxi? Where to, madame? The police station. Police station, please. Right you are. Yep. I don't think there's anything interesting here. Oh, you're not, Ladue. And none of this is Ladue either. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We will go to Madame Curie. Taxi? Well, to Yes, yes. Marie Curie's lab, please. Let's go. Yes, please. Oh, hello. Rupert. Matter. How nice. It's been years. Yes, it has. What are you up to these days? Not much. The usual. Buying, selling, running my little company into the ground. <laughs> that I doubt. You're right. I was hoping Madame Curie might join me in a new enterprise, but her head's in the clouds. Otherwise, as of today, things are looking up. Still dancing, I hope. Sorry, uh, I'd love to chat, but I must be off. Okay... Marie! What was Rupert doing here? Oh dear. My god. He's dead. How? Was it Zollinger? Was Rupert in here? I don't know. I, I don't know. Jacques, he's dead. Okay. Moncala wants information, and I'd better find it fast. The police will be here soon. Did Zollinger do this? Poor Shock. Hmm. A pen. Probably Brunel's. Okay.
Let's take well, it. Well, a notebook. But wait, it's empty. Are you sure? I'll take that. Hmm. I see pages marked phosphate and steel, but no notes. The book is empty. I already looked. What a pity. As for you, what news from your friend Von Kalla? The Jules Verne project is a giant cannon. Like the one in From the Earth to the Moon. Exactly. But they're having trouble casting the barrel. It's a nice drawing matter, but I see no dimensions. How big is it? I have no idea. We need to know. Look around. Let's find something we can use as a bargaining chip with Von Kalle. Like the notes, maybe? Oh, the pen is full of ink, but it flows clear as water. Mata, you're a genius. The man kept his notes in invisible ink. But how can we make these notes visible? Maybe Mari knows something. Maybe she does. But, I mean, Jacques just died. Come on. Be nice. Mari, do you know something about the invisible ink Brunel was writing with? I invented it for him. Then you'll know how to make it visible. Yes. Try iodine. Thank you. We need to find iodine. You're on the way, dude. Is there any iodine in here? I don't know. I guess there might be in here. Somehow I doubt it. Wow, he is so stalkerish. Dude, get out of my personal space. There, bottle of iodine. Iodine. First aid for cuts and scrapes, I suppose. Alright. Look, Brunel's notes. Pages on organophosphate compounds and, aha, steel formulas. The key seems to be boron for heat treatment and hardening. This is what Von Kala is after. But let's improve the numbers a little bit. That gun of his should be perfect if he's going to hit the moon with it. Instead of 0.05% boron, let's make it 0.07. Here, deliver this and bring me the cannon dimensions. Okay. Brunel is dead. It could have been an accident, but I suspect Zollinger. He's after something Brunel knew, but what? Steel making? That seems much too ordinary. The boron formula cost a life, a very high price. Let's hope it buys me the size of that cannon. Ladu won't rest until he has the final details. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Boron, how boring, but I need to know how it figures into steel production. Back to Paris, give boron formula to Von Calais. Taxi? Where to, madame? I would like to go to the train station. Gare du Nord, please. At your service, madame. We shall go to Berlin, yeah? Let's see if the normal map is the same annoying one. Hello there. Where to? Ticket to Berlin. Berlin, please. Oh, but he starts there this time. Hopefully that's good. Or not. No, actually, that is good. Ho ho. You can't get me. La 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 la. Ha. 
Okay, how good are we? 680 skill, 2500 wealth, no spycraft. Oh yeah, I think you get spycraft uh, if you find secrets. Which I have actually not even managed to find one this time. I found one when I played first time. But uh, now I'm finding zero secrets, interestingly enough. So I'm probably going to find zero secrets, sadly. Um, so maybe there's some other walkthrough with all the secrets. How nice to see you again, Fraulein. Can I talk to Colonel Holtz? Just funsies. Colonel Holtz. You know, my dear, Arnie is very... I don't want to make him jealous. Okay. Don't be coy, Marta. Um, I'm not. All right. Here you are. Imagine. The notes were written in invisible ink. Quaint. But fascinating. Boron, point zero seven. Himmel, I had no idea it could be so high. Excuse me, Mata, I must run. Wait. Oh. I want my money. May I speak with you? Mata, my dear, how are you? You seem to have startled my friend. I'm surprised. He says such nice things about you, too. He's impossible. How can I help? Colonel, the Jules Verne gun won't actually shoot the moon, will it? Goodness, no. But Paris. Paris will be in range. Then it must be a very big gun. Oh, yes. Bigger than yours, then. What do you mean? <laughs> well, aren't you an artillery officer? Madame, I am not a 29 meter <laughs> cannon, but I've got what it takes for the targets I aim at. <laughs> <clears throat> now, so do I. Found out the size of the ship van cannon from Holtz. Give cannon size to Lido. Oh really? Holtz is not a 29 meter gun. <laughs> no, he looks like a, I don't know, 180 person? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go back to Paris. Taxi? Where to? Yes, I would like to go to the train station. Please get it. Thank you. Not interested in those. Hello there. May I help you? Yes, to... yes. I want to go to Paris. Paris, please. Let's pl try the normal route first. Oh, he's over there. Ah, oh, that could actually be help helpful. Ah. Oh, um, Denmark is up here. Somewhere. See, London. Havre, Bruxelles, Massique, Praha, it might be Prague, I guess. Here is Paris. Yeah, plus hundred. Uh, I forgot to look for inspiration in Berlin, I just realized. Taxi? Oh well, no, too, it's the bicycle dude in Berlin. Okay, we'll have to go back. Police station, please. It is definitely I the bicycle dude. Least, definitely the bicycle dude. Hello. Hello, Captain. Hello, Mata. Bearing gifts this afternoon, I hope. Just one. 29 meters. I beg your pardon? 29 meters is the size of the Jules Verne gun. They'll be able to shell Paris from the Rhine. Those Germans, what a fantasy. Jules Verne, the moon, 29 meters, they're lunatics. What about me? Do I hear a thank you, job well done in there somewhere? 
Of course, you are formidable. We'll work together again of that, oh, no. I have no doubt. I hope not. Yeah. Don't sulk. We both know you're a spy, Mata, and the only way out is death. Explosion in Deutschem Stahlwerk as Würden Valitze gathered. The Jules Verne project has hit a snag, it seems. Yet I doubt Arnie and his team will give up. If not cannons, they'll create something else new and horrible. And the French are just as bad. Ladou is much too cheerful. End of chapter two. Let's go on, Frau Schragmuller. By now, Mata was rarely dancing. Do I have that right? Yes. Just special performances. She had made some money and she had other interests. The world was changing, speeding up. Mata got caught up in the whirl. Time passes. I only dance now and then. I was warned. Fashions change. Money is no longer an issue of survival, thank God. Every so often I do some small job for Oscar, and like everyone else in this modern age, hope my work will bring good times. Yet war clouds gather, in spite of everything. Chapter 3, Airplane Plans. Actually, we're in Monaco. We can get some inspiration from Bonjour, here. Bonjour, Oscar. Mata, how nice to see you. Looking well, looking sleek, looking beautiful. My heart skips a beat. I'll bet. At least you claim to have a heart. That's encouraging. Sit down. We must talk. Oh, must we? It's been more than a year. And even then, that mission to Prague wasn't much. I dared to hope you had forgotten all about me. Forget about you? Never. I have a task that only you can accomplish. Work your way into the Daimler factory outside Berlin and find out the details of a radical new airfoil your fellow countryman Anthony Fokker is working on. Memorize the information and report back to Schragmuller. Oh, easy peasy. Me in a factory? Have you lost your mind? Not yet. Don't worry about the factory. The trick is to befriend a certain young woman. Lucky us. A fan of yours, as it happens. Her name? Mercedes Jelinek. She's the daughter of Emile Jelinek, a prominent diplomat and Daimler's foremost investor. He is here in Monte Carlo. Start by introducing yourself. Tell him Louis Renault is recommending you. The French automaker? I don't know him. Does it matter? Now's your chance. Jelinek is over there. I must make friends with Mercedes and win myself a tour of the Daimler factory. Airplanes. How romantic flying seems. Fokker's new airfoil must be a design breakthrough. Alright. So I'll go get some inspiration first. The Monaco inspiration. Hmm. When I see oh, things we like missed him. that, my toes start to tap. <laughs> and he's back. Hello. Herr Jelinek. Oh ho. Who have we here? I'm Mata Hari. Really? I've heard of you. The scandalous dancer. Louis Renault encouraged me to meet you. He sends his regards. Does he, the bastard? Um, yes. Well, old disputes should be forgotten, don't you think? We'll see about that. Tell him... Call my solicitor with an offer, and we'll talk. Good day. Wait. I understand your daughter is a fan of mine. I'd like to meet her. Mercedes is easily carried away by all sorts of whims. Why don't you sign an autograph, and I'll deliver it? Uh... No. Oh, we have to seduce him! Um... I guess he's pretty sure of himself. Maybe yielding? I bow to your wisdom, sir. I certainly wouldn't want to expose your daughter to any ideas you would consider 
unwholesome. I should hope not. Oh, wrong. Okay. Uh, this missing. Maybe. Goodness, you talk like my grandmother. It's the 20th century. Women need to get out into the world. I'm sure your daughter has told you that. Perhaps you're right. I certainly have no influence. She's in Berlin with her own huh. telephone, would you believe? Call 24201 and say I sent you. Aha! Uh -huh. I will. All right, so we have to get out of Monaco. We got our inspirations, now we can dance. So we'll go to the train station and then we'll take a break. Taxi? Where to, man? Yes, yes, train station, blah, blah. Train station. And here we are. We can talk to the street artist, actually. Oh, the spy. Hello. Just get a him. A moment, please. Hmm. Travel is so tiring. You look like you know your way around. Any advice? Possibly. It's no challenge for a seasoned operative, mind you, but for a quick trip to Monaco, take the rapide. Enemy agents will just see a blur. Okay, good. Now we have that. All right, but that's where we're gonna take a break this time. Uh, quick, whoops. Easy, no test of skill. In my present mood, that suits me. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Are you done? There we go. All right, cool. So we did our quests last time, and we are now on chapter three. In 1910, I think, yeah. We're going to the Daimler factory, and there are lots of cars now with Mercedes and Renault and Daimler and stuff. So we'll see how that turns out. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Matahari, and I'll see you all later.